Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1412. Hey, if you want to download this Excel file, Excel Magic Trick 1412 start or the finished file so you can follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we got to see how to use Power Query to merge two tables into one table for a pivot table report. Here's our two tables. And if we didn't use Power Query, we could add an extra column to this table and use VLOOKUP so we can get the region into the transaction table. Or we could use the data model and relationships. But here, we want to see actually how to merge these two tables into a single table. So in essence, the outcome will be this extra region column that will allow us to summarize the sales by region. And then we want to create a simple pivot table. All right, let's go over to the sheet 1412. Now, in order to use Power Query, your Excel table has to be an official Excel table. I've already converted this to an Excel table by selecting a single cell and clicking the Table button or using Control-T. And then I went and named it. I want to do that to this table, Control-T, and Enter. And then I want to name it. So I go up to Design, Properties, Table Name, or Alt-JTA. And I'm going to call this D-Sales Rep and Enter. Now we have our two official Excel tables. We can merge them. I'm going to click in one of the tables, a single cell. And watch this. I'm in Excel 2016, and we're going to go to the Data Ribbon tab. And the latest update has completely changed how we connect and get data. Get and Transform is over here on the left. Queries and Connections, that's going to be like our Connections button or our Show Queries button. But whatever version you have, go to Get and Transform, and there's the button we want, From Table or Range. I'm going to click that button. It brings it into the Query Editor. We could see over here it changed the type. And if we look at the type, decimal, text, date, and time, I want to change these. So when I click on the icon, I'm going to select Currency. And it's going to ask me, hey, do you want to replace the one we already did for you? It thought we wanted decimal, but we really wanted currency. You could see up here sales type number. So this is asking, hey, do you want to replace that? Yes, I'm going to click Replace Current. And we can see that changed up there. Similarly, I'm going to click on the icon and point to just date instead of date and time. It's going to ask me the same question. I'm going to click Replace Current. Now, here's another thing that's going to be new with this new update. When we come up to Close and Load, we're used to clicking Close and Load 2 and having a Close and Load 2 dialog box. But they have changed it. This is the old Import Data. There is our Only Create a Connection. There is our Add to the Data Model, which we're not going to use in this video here. But that's what we want. We want to click Only Create a Connection. So in essence, Microsoft has merged the import data and our old load to dialog box into this new dialog box. I'm going to click OK. Now we can see our queries and connection pane window opening over here. If we had connections, we go back over there like to external sources. All right, let's bring our second table in. I'm going to click in a single cell from table range. The data types are fine. I'm going to click Close and Load, Close and Load 2. Only create a connection. Click OK. So now we have our two queries here. Now we have to use the Merge feature. So we come up to Get and Transform Data, Get Data. Down here, Combine Queries. And we want to say Merge. All right, we're going to select F Sales. And the Sales Rep column is the one that connects these two tables. So I select Sales Rep, come down and get my second table, the Lookup Table or Dimension Table. I'm going to click on Sales Rep. We can see down here it is matched. We're going to use a left outer join. That means all the records from here and matching ones from the second. Now notice there's two columns here. So when our resultant table shows up, both columns will show up as a little teeny table for each record. All right, I'm going to click OK. And here's our new column. We can see there's our teeny table. So for each record, there are the two fields from our D sales rep table. Now I want to double click. I don't want this called New Column. I want to call this Region and Enter. Now I'm going to click the Expand button. And I definitely do not want all of them. 
I first want to uncheck Use Original Column, uncheck Select All. I only want Region. If I selected them both, of course, we'd have duplicates, and we don't want that. Click OK. That data type is fine. I'm going to double click this backspace, backspace, and Enter. Now we have our columns that we need. I'm going to close and load two. And I am not going to dump this new merge table into the spreadsheet, because then I would have duplicate data. I'm going to say only create a connection. These two tables will still live as separate tables, but we will have, through our Power Query and connection only, merge the two tables. And we can use it in a pivot table report. I'm going to click OK. There's my merge one. I don't like that name. I should have renamed it. Right click Properties. Right up at the top, I'm going to call this One Sales Table and Enter. Now I'm simply going to come off to the side or wherever I want, go up to Insert, Pivot Table, or use the keyboard Alt-N-V. And check this out. We're going to say, hey, use an external data source. Choose Connection. There is our one sales table query that we are allowed to access for a pivot table. Click Open. Click OK. Now I'm going to close the queries in connection. Now I can drag region down to rows, sales down to values, design, report layout, show in tabular, right click number formatting, and something like currency. Click OK. And there we have merged the two tables. And we're allowed to create our regional sales report from that merged query. All right, that was a little fun with Power Query and merging to create a single table as a connection that we can use in a pivot table. All right, we'll see you next video.